I wonder who this is. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I've already taken out her water dish and, well, she didn't react when I did. But yeah, I went and washed it up nice and clean. So now we'll just put it back in and we'll see if she reacts to that. Hopefully not. <laughs> Alright, girl. Yoop. Okay. 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 You know, ugh. okay. I took it out. And you were super calm. She was just sitting there, guys. Literally, she was just there. And now when I put this in, she is back as what she's always known to be as. Okay. Look at this girl, you guys. Oh, she is angry as ever. Yo, okay. Now, it's time for your water. Are you ready? Oops. Check out her claws. Yup, tarantulas have claws. Now they're somewhat like cats, they can retract the claws, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure a lot of you did not know that. Okay, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Well, that was a nice start. Hello, <laughs> how are you today? Now, can you please, like, be nice with me today? I beg of you, please do not move. Do not move thank you thanks for cooperating with me for once oh when i was pouring the water it dripped over there and she moved i was like okay this girl is definitely a hundred and twenty percent will react when i take out the water dish because look at her legs it's resting on the water dish so i'm gonna you guys see what I was saying? Oh my gosh, and no guys, I'm not provoking my tarantulas. Gosh. You, uh, okay, never mind. No guys, I'm not provoking my tarantulas. They detect movement, vibration. So when I want to take out a water dish, they will react. And no, I'm not going to leave the water dish in and just refill it with water because that, well, the water dish is full of bacteria. Just look at that. You expect me to leave it there and just fill it? No. I'm gonna take it out. If it's gonna make them react, too bad. I'm just gonna take this out because I wanna wash it, I wanna clean it because I care for their health. I don't want my tarantulas drinking from bacteria infested water, okay? So if they're gonna react for the 10 seconds, be it. There's a difference between provoking and them reacting when I take out a water dish. Anyways, sorry about that. Let's move on to the next tarantula. I'm gonna have to do a beginner species very soon because I've been getting a lot of questions and requests to do that. So, well, this is one of them. This is the Brazilian black, the Gramastola pulchra. This is one of them, a very good beginner species. I really, really love what this one has done to its enclosure. I look at all the webbing. And this is the enclosure, the one that I used, the clay that I got from outside. And so far, the tea has been doing perfectly fine. But she is always in there, as you can see. She comes out at night and just start webbing up the place. So, yeah, it's really cool to see her do that. But during the daytime, she is pretty much just, just chilling in there. Also, the awesome thing about this substrate is that it doesn't mold. But one thing that I don't like is when it dries up, you see, it leaves a gap at the side of the enclosure, which, yeah, I don't really like that. But anyways... I also love what my skeleton tarantula did to her enclosure. It's just cocoa fiber, but she has made a tunnel down here and she just chills down there. Now, she was able to make this tunnel because I put a piece of driftwood in there. So if you guys want your tarantulas to build like a tunnel, cool tunnel like this, there's her legs over there. Yeah, you're gonna have to use something like a wood or I don't know, some decorative stuff, some plant. That way they can make their way through all those. Here goes the water dish and here goes the water. Usually hiding is my header squadra maculata, the Togo Starburst baboon. Now these guys are supposed to be arboreals, but this one hides under the wood. She doesn't come out the wood, she hides under. So yeah, arboreal or not, I'm not sure. It's definitely one gorgeous looking tarantula, it's like a ghost, it's white. 
it's grey, it's silver, I don't know, but it's still gorgeous. Like, tell me that's not gorgeous, you guys. This is one of my favorite tarantulas. If only it stays out more in the open. But you know, a hiding tarantula is a happy tarantula, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. At least she's out for us today. Time to refill Ternaculus marinus, tan color form, the OBT. Now this is what I wanna talk about, you see? I put, I gave her a lot of substrate just in case she wants to burrow, but these guys, I mean, look at my other OBT. It's right, focus, it's right over there in the open. You can't really see it properly, but she's there. Same goes with this one. Now this is why I don't give super amount of substrate for quite a few of them because they don't actually burrow. They, when you give them a point for them to anchor their webs, like there's actually a hide over here, but it doesn't go in, it just webbed it up. But yeah, as I was saying, when you give them a point to anchor their webs, no, you don't come out, don't you? No, 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 no. A. Okay, 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 uh, let me just finish explaining my thing. When you give them something to anchor their webs, they will just pretty much lay a mat of web and really don't really burrow. And that is not good, okay, that is not good. I'm gonna have to take the uh, water dish, come on man, web, really? <sighs> okay, let's get the water in first. Now I've got to worry about this girl. What am I going to do? Oh boy, this is not good at all. This is also a problem if you give them a lot of substrate because they have more room to come out. Makes it much easier, but yeah. What am I going to do with this girl? If I try to prod her in, she's going to bolt. That's for sure, so. um, Alright, let's just try, okay? Oh my gosh, dang it. <sighs> this girl, I tell you. There we go. Hmm. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Simple as pie. And that, my friends, is how you do it. All right, this one, the Orphanica species Marinduki. You can see the legs down there and the abdomen is right there. Now, this one's going to need a rehouse very soon. So stay tuned for that video. Just a little bit of water. Oops. Okay, so let's move on to the next tarantula, shall we? Pumpkin patch. There she is. The beauty. Now this one, I won't take out the water dish. I'll just clear off the web and then fill up the water. Yeah, that's right. Go for the water. It's for you to drink. Fresh water. In there, you can't really see. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit. This is a Davis Pentaloris. Guatemalan tiger rump. What was that even? I don't know. This one is also a little bit crazy. Well, she can be when she wants. This is the Pamphobetius. Wait, no. Yeah, I can't remember. The name will be over here. I'm glad she's inside there because she can be... She can be a little bit crazy at times. Okay, now all the enclosures are on the floor for now because I want to wipe this table down because I haven't done that in look at the dust like that is real okay so I want to wipe this whole table and then I'll put them back Arizona blonde of Phonopelma calcodes let's go this is the Cericopelma rubronitans the Panama red rum she's one picky eater that's for sure But that's okay because fresh water is the most important. They can go for quite some time without food. Whoa, look who's molting. Okay, I will put you over here gently so I won't accidentally kick you. You Palestras Campus Stratus, the pink zebra beauty. A beauty indeed. Look at this. They're very familiar, well, to me, they're very familiar to the Chaco Goldeny, but not as vibrant in coloration. I don't know, I mean, to me. They may look totally different to you guys. There's a little bit of water on the ground. Go, go, go drink it. Go sip it up. You know you want to. This is also a very, very good beginner species, but unfortunately, they're not readily available out there. But if you guys can manage to find one, definitely grab it. This is one example of an annoying thing when you're keeping tarantulas. They bury the water dish like... 
yeah, it's annoying. You fill up their water dish and they just dump substrate in. Like why? I don't understand why. It's for you to drink. Not to dump, they can fill up a big water bowl like this with substrate in just a couple hours. So now I fill it up with water. Tomorrow, it can be just filled with substrate again. Like literally, I'm not even joking. Thank goodness my cobalt blue is in her burrow. Now I don't have to worry because this girl is a devil. She bit my friend twice and that was not fun. Acantoscuria chaquana, Bolivian pink. Whoa, stay where you are. Whoa, calm down. It's just a water dish. No food today, okay? All right, you see? It's just water. You want some? There you go. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Here's another one that decided, hey, it would be fun to fill my water dish with substrate. Yeah, what's up with that? Ah, these guys, I tell you. Here, take your substrate back. I don't need it. Okay, nice and clean now. And I prefer it to be that way. Thank you very much. All right, so we have done quite a few so far. Now, we're gonna have to move on to the shelf over here. These guys still have their waters quite clean, but we'll, we'll change it anyway. Yo, look who just molted. This is so awesome. Now, she is a big girl. Now, I'm gonna throw the mold in front of her to distract her because I guarantee you guys, when I take that water dish, she's gonna react. So, here. Here, grab a mold. Okay, now you won't react when I take the water dish. See guys, you gotta know your tarantulas. When they're focused on something, they won't turn back and attack you, so yeah. Now she is currently focusing on her mold because she thinks that's some food item, I don't know. So while she's doing that, I'm doing this. Because having a geniculata come after you, yeah. That is not fun at all. It's a real jump scare, you guys. This is the uh, Lassiodora Klugi Ibahia Scarlet. All right, she's in a good mood today. Awesome, because usually when I make some movements, she will just come running at me and that is no fun. So I guess she knows it is watering time. Let's go. You like that? Of course you do. Look at what this girl's doing after I filled up a water dish. It's like, I'm gonna take some substrate and just put it in the water dish. I'm not even surprised if she's gonna do that. All right, Serrata Jars Marshali, straight horn baboon, let's go. She may react a little bit because you see her web is attached to the uh, deli cup. Please do not, okay. She seems a little bit calm today, so that's good. Now this girl, as you can see, unlike that other tarantula that I showed you guys just now, I think, was it the second or third one? Yeah, this one, she just webs up one corner of the enclosure. The other one's like, yeah, I'm gonna web up the entire enclosure. See, different tarantulas, different personality. Yes, may I help you? Such a shy girl. This is that unknown species, well, yeah. She may react, to be honest, but I, I think I'm ready for that. Am I? Okay, maybe not. Whew, my heart just skipped a beat. Whoa, okay, calm down. Woohoo, so this is how much fun it is to work with old world tarantulas. Yeah, new world tarantulas will just kick hairs at you. Old world tarantulas, on the other hand, will want to kill you. Whoa, look at that. She even wants to kill water. Man, don't mess with this girl, I tell you. This girl has made use of her new enclosure pretty nicely. So that is awesome. I don't like the fact that she made a burrow underneath the water dish. Like, why would you do that? You have a burrow right here. Why? The water dish would just spill. Common sense, okay? Common sense. And I want to take the water dish. Why do you have to put your hand on it? Hey, you... Can you please, like, you, you want to come out again, I see. You want to come out again, I see. Well, I need your water dish first, thank you. Hey, yo, I don't like the fact that you always want to come out, okay? You gotta, like, stay in your enclosure because, yeah, coming out is not, it's not how we do it, 
We, we, we need you to be in the enclosure. I'll fill your water first, don't worry. Okay, now, I have to deal with you. Now, go back into your enclosure, please. Yep, there you go. Thank you. Go have some water, okay? I'm gonna close you up now. This girl, always wanting to come out. Kilo Brachis Andersoni, Burmese Mustard. Please behave yourself. No, I said behave yourself, please. Thank you. Oh, wait until I say thank you and then unbehave yourself, okay? Gotta behave yourself. Hello, hello, hello. Here's your water dish, please. Hey! What did I tell you? Behave yourself. Man. This is the fifth watering video. Fifth watering video. You. Jeez. Learn to calm down. Jeez. This girl. Huh. <sighs> Another one that decides to... Yeah. This is an Arizona blonde, by the way. You see, this one dirtied her deli cup. I mean, filled it up with substrate. She just dug this amount of substrate from to make her little burrow and then she just dumped it into the water dish like this is a perfect example to show you guys that different tarantulas even of the same species have different personalities because you see this Arizona blonde just filled her water dish with substrate whereas that tarantula the other Arizona blonde has a perfectly clean enclosure like perfectly clean water dish that one has manners this one has no manners oh my gosh really this is like next level <sighs> those guys fill their enclosure with water i mean with substrate wait what what am i saying those guys fill their water dish with substrate what do you do you tip it over you flip it over upside down really Really? How do you expect to drink water then, huh? You all gotta learn some manners, okay? Please move. Please move. I said move, not turn around. Yes, move. I don't need you here. Go away. There. Don't tip it over again. You got it? These two were dirty yesterday, so I already filled them up yesterday. I mean, cleaned them and filled. By the way, this is my grandma's dollar pottery. And this is my grandma Stella Rosea. So today we'll be skipping these two. Now moving on to these four. Do do do. Davis Pantaloris. This one has a shallowish water dish. Okay. So this tiny guy. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this tiny guy was over there just now, right? You you saw that. And as soon as I put this water dish, she came running here. I forgot to hit record. Man, that was such a good footage because I literally, I jumped. But you saw her bolt a little bit anyway, so. What was that all about, huh? What was that all about? What's going on, Nandu Kerapoensis? Can I please have your water dish? Thank you. Can you please, like, go down? I don't want you to be on the wall, okay? Please move. Nope. Move at the side. There you go. Here's your water dish. And here's your water. Here we go, you guys. Here we go. Hi, Miss Lord of Mercy. Please have mercy on me today. Well, well, the good thing is because her web is not attached to the water dish, so I think she won't feel it when I bring up the water dish. Like, yeah, that's good. That's what I'm talking about, good girl. Please keep it that way from now on, okay? Don't web up the water dish because I don't want to deal with you. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to deal with me as well. Yeah, that's right. Go back into your tunnel. Oh no, get away from the water dish, please. Thank you. Now, eventually I'm gonna put these large females into a very nice display enclosure and then like put it in the middle of my hall or something because they are massive and very, very impressive. So when visitors come, they're gonna be like, yo, that is one big spider, so cool. This is another large species, not too beautiful I would say, but definitely a badass rustic look. This one is quite aggressive as well. Oh no, 
please don't come out. And by aggressive, I mean food aggressive because these guys will just attack anything that moves pretty much. I'm not gonna say aggressive because, yeah, tarantulas are, they're mainly defensive. I wouldn't say they're aggressive. Aggressive means they come running towards you when even if you're not doing anything. So yeah, defensive. There you go. Enjoy your water. So guys, that will be it for today's watering video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't, you're free to thumbs it down. Now, if you're new to this channel and if you just enjoyed what you watched, like what you just watched, I can't speak right now, I'm sorry. Be sure to subscribe and hit that more little bit. I, I give up. I give up, okay? Well, just hit that notification bell. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> if you're new to this... Are you serious? If you're new to this channel again, if you'd like support through Patreon, there's a link in the description below to get over the social media links, so feel free to go check those out. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to be talking too much anymore because I'm, I'm like, I'm done, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.